Hello everybody, uh, my name is Mark Lucas and I'm going to quickly walk you through the integration that Blue Arc has just launched with a product called Jet Center for vSphere. So basically Jet Center is a bolt-on plugin that goes onto the vSphere client and the vCenter server for VMware. And basically just to recap where we are, this is the Blue Arc GUI. And basically what we have is a virtual server which is actually being presented to a couple of ESX hosts and those ESX hosts are connected to the storage via box standard NFS version 3. Very simple. You can see a couple of VMware instances here. So if I actually go to my ESX host and I look at my clients at the moment, you can see there's a couple of VMware instances and these are all connected very simply as I said as amounts across to the Blue Arc storage. Really, really straightforward. So here we are, Debian, you've got Red Hat, all running here and working well. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Blue Arc GUI. So if I go to, up to here and to home, there's a plugin and snap in for Jet Center for vSphere here that's actually been installed. And I'm just going to click on that. And the first thing we're presented with is a details page telling me the number of snapshots, the number of virtual machines and the groups on this one as well. And this is just for this one ESX server. And it's telling me it's connected to a Mercury platform. The version of the software must be eight or above. And it's given me the IP address here. Very, very straightforward. So what I'm going to do here is someone's asked me, well, why don't we just back up each of these individual virtual machines, which I can do. But what I'm actually going to do is simply create a group. So someone said, well, if I wanted just maybe to back up two of these machines that are working inside this uh, VMs on this particular ESX server, how do I do that? And simply enough, you just create a group. So what I'm going to do is here is come up to here and do create group. And what this is going to allow me to do is give it a group name. So I'm just going to call this group two and just two machines and simply connect, collect uh, and select here into this bucket the ones that I'm actually after. So what the first one I'm going to do is obviously the, the Debian one here. So if you actually look here, you can see it's a five that's working on that one. So that's going to go across. And I'm also going to pick the Red Hat one as well. Really simple. I could actually, by clicking this button here, add in all of the machines into that group, but we've already got that. So let's just click OK. And then basically it's created me a second group and from there it's really simple. As long as I have VMware tools installed on these virtual machines, I can then take simple snapshot backups of just that group. So I'm going to give this a name, backup one, and a description, my demo. And basically, as you can see here, VMware tools is going to be installed on those two virtual machines and it's going to quiesce the file system to take a logical and consistent backup. And this thing here that's very, very important is the retention policy. How, my, how long do I want to keep this backup? Do I want to do number of days? Maybe just keep it for seven days. Do I want to just have three or four copies of this particular group? So I'll go with four on this one as well. And this can be scheduled. So basically that's going to take a backup of those two virtual machines and basically what this will allow me to do is simply restore back any of those two virtual machines when I want to and there it is snapshot backup completed successfully that's all good and if I actually have a look here it's telling me one group which is easy and then here it is here under my groups I can do a simple if you actually have a look here and have a look here there we are here the ones that has been taken and jet center backup one there's one here as well so these are the backups that have been taken for that group for those two virtual machines so if you actually look here any time I can basically um, restore back from these previous backups for these virtual machines so here's my one here 1209 if you have a look in here I can do a restore from snapshot or I can delete the snapshot so that's pretty straightforward so if I might want to say actually well here's three now I've just created and uh, go from there I can do that or alternatively I could schedule a backup of just this machine on its own and just say just one and on its own simple 
and that's going to take a backup of that one as well and basically as you can see there it's in progress it's taking a snapshot from there and there it is there just one just been taken and again I could restore from that snapshot I can change the group policy that I want to for this so I can change this group policy if you have a look here and I can schedule this group policy so I can say well actually I want this group this backup group to have a weekly hourly monthly at a certain time of the day or a certain time of the weekend go ahead and redo this or do this and again keep the number of retention retained backups to four really simple very simple to actually actually add machines in as well the other fe key feature if I'm just going to cancel that is the ability to clone machines so a lot of people have been asking me about how do I clone a machine that I want to have multiple copies and it really is simple on here as well so I just go up to the machine that I want Debian 5 there's a feature here called jet clone I give it a name Deb 5 mark 3 or mark 2 and I can add it to my source group so very simple and what this is going to do is take a clone a read writable snapshot of my clone uh, of my um, Debian 5 box and what that will also allow me to do is then obviously deploy that boot it up make sure it's got a unique IP address make sure it's got um, a unique host name from this as well and basically allow me to actually very simply create a brand spanking new virtual machine from there which I can then change edit and power up the other key feature about this software which I think is really really nice is it is fully integrated in here as well so you don't have to have extra skills in terms of if you've got VMware administrators so here we are everything's working again snapshots going on read writable clones is going on and basically what we're actually looking at at the moment is I can do read writable clones for all of these machines and this is actually not in terms of uh, specifically just to this ESX server I could actually do the same for the remaining ESX servers that we have here as well the number of data stores is being listed here which is interesting so I can click on that and it will show me show me my WFS2 partition the space being used and the snapshots hosted which is a really nice feature as well the other thing here number of snapshot backups is six and again very very clear to see and actually uh, identify with the last thing I quite like about this as well is details if I have a look at details on this as well it refreshes the box and if I actually come here and do view event log at the moment there's no issues no warnings um, but, but if there was a backup schedule going on if I'd scheduled my backups you would have seen that event log being put into space here as well there's nothing going to be in this one as well except the backing up group that's been created successfully earlier on so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed that and certainly I'll follow up with the extra functionality on restores with this later on